now developing news from the Target 12 investigators. After two weeks of controversy, the head of RIPTA is stepping down. Scott Avedisian handed in his resignation to Governor Dan McKee this afternoon as he fights criminal charges over a drive through hit and run. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now live in studio with the new details. Tim. Mike and Shannon, Avedisian handed in that letter to the governor's office moments before the RIPTA board was meeting to discuss Avedisian's legal troubles and his future at the agency. Are you going to resign today, Mr. Avedisian? On Thursday morning, RIPTA director Scott Avedisian had nothing to say, leaving his Warwick home. Good afternoon, board members. Hours later, RIPTA's board met to discuss the criminal case against the agency's chief. Police say he took off after starting a chain reaction car crash in a McDonald's drive through on March 27th, while behind the wheel of his RIPTA-issued Ford Explorer. The eyes have it. We will enter into executive session. So Reporters and the public were told to wait in the hall as the board, chaired by Wright Dot director Peter Alvidi discussed this letter in which Avedisian informed Governor Dan McKee he wished to resign from RIPTA and asked the board to terminate his contract. Would you have recommended his resignation if he hadn't? I'm not going to speculate on what could have happened. I'm, I'm here to tell you what happened today. He tendered his resignation and will be acting on that. Alvidi says the board could vote on a deal to end Avedisian's contract as early as Tuesday. Has he made a request for some sort of exit package that includes compensation? They're, they're in negotiations with our attorneys, and uh, that is privileged, I'm sure, until the, the negotiation is finalized. In the letter, Avedisian cited improvements under his watch at RIPTA from electric vehicle charging stations to service at the Pawtucket train station, but wrote, regrettably, all of these initiatives are now being overshadowed by recent events. Avedisian has pleaded not guilty to one misdemeanor count of leaving the scene of an accident. Avedisian's contract was set to expire in May of next year. He makes $182,000 a year as RIPTA chief and also collects a $73,000 a year pension from Warwick, where he served as mayor for 18 years. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. The Target 12 investigators have major new developments in a controversy they've been tracking for the past two weeks. Stepping down, Scott Avedisian sent a letter to the governor's office looking to end his contract as CEO of RIPTA. The news comes just a week after Avedisian was criminally charged in a hit and run crash. Target 12 investigator Tim White was just at a RIPTA board meeting and is here now with the latest developments. Tim. Mike and Shannon, Scott Avedisian had one year left on his RIPTA contract, earning $182,000 a year. Now he's in negotiations with the agency for a severance package as he walks out the door. We will enter into executive session. After more than an hour behind closed doors, RIPTA's board, chaired by RIDOT Director Peter Alviti, returned to open session. Uh, today, uh, the, governor, the governor received a letter of resignation uh, from Scott Avedisian, stepping down as the chief executive officer of RIPTA. Avedisian was not at the meeting, but in the two-page letter, he touted accomplishments from electric vehicle charging stations to service at the Pawtucket train station, but wrote, regrettably, all of these initiatives are now being overshadowed by recent events. Has he made a request for some sort of exit package that includes compensation? They're, they're in negotiations with our attorneys, and uh, that is privileged, I'm sure, until the, the negotiation is finalized. Alvidi says the board will likely consider a proposed exit package for Avedisian as early as Tuesday. This kind of a change is always a challenge to any agency. Are you going to resign today, Mr. Avedisian? The letter caps two weeks of controversy for Avedisian, the former longtime mayor of Warwick who became CEO of the cash-strapped agency in 2018. And he hit him so hard that he's not going to get me. On March 27th, police say Avedisian rammed into the back of a Mercedes at a McDonald's drive through sparking a chain reaction crash, then took off. Can you tell us where you were before that incident? He has pleaded not guilty to one misdemeanor count of leaving the scene of an accident. A short time ago, Senate President Dominic Ruggiero, who has been calling for Avedisian's ouster for more than a year, issued a statement urging the board to, quote, bring in a true transit professional to guide the agency through the many challenges it faces. We'll continue to track these developments with the Target 12 investigators. Tim White, 12 News.